What's going on everybody, Noble here with you guys today. Today we are talking about Centipede because of Anstream Arcade, which is a streaming service that you guys can check out that allows you to play retro games. If you are a retro gamer or looking to play some of these old games, go and check out Anstream Arcade. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But with that said, I just want to talk about Centipede. Now Centipede was one of the earliest arcade cabinets that I can remember. Uh, I don't know how old I was whenever I played it, but I do remember how I got to it. So two or three towns over from my hometown is where my grandparents and my aunts used to live, and that's where I'd spend a lot of time on the weekends and during summers uh, so that my parents could do whatever parents did back then. I have no idea what that was. But my favorite thing to do whenever I was at my grandparents or at my aunt's was to go to the video store. We'd go rent some videos and it was this really cool little shop. Like it wasn't like a video store like you would imagine your Hollywood videos or your blockbusters or anything like that. This was a mom and pop owned shop that had everything like handmade I guess. Like the shelves were just 2 by 4s and plywood holding up VHS tapes. That's right, VHS tapes, because we didn't have DVDs back then, and if you don't know what a VHS tape is, uh, ask your parents or someone older than you. But over in the back right-hand side corner of it was the famous Centipede arcade cabinet, which I assumed that my aunts and uncles probably gave me $2 at a time because I was a dumb kid and I didn't really know how to play the game, but it would keep me quiet while they went and searched for the movies that we were going to watch that evening. Now, the thing that I remember most about Centipede, aside from the sound, which you guys can hear right now, and I know is not that exciting... Back in the day, it was one of the most amazing things. Video games were just becoming a thing. Arcades had been around for a while, and just those sounds sounded so high-tech and futuristic and stuff like that. Now, obviously, we don't get that because we've got our shooty shooty bang bangs, we got our voiceovers and stuff like that. So if you guys are hearing the gameplay right now, it's not that exciting, but back in the day, it was amazing. But my absolute favorite thing about Centipede was the controller. So the controller was not like a joystick or anything like you would have on, on the majority of arcade machines. It was like a mouse ball. And, ooh, I just realized most of you guys might not even know what a mouse ball is. Uh, so back in the day, mice had balls in them, and whenever you moved your mouse, the, the cursor would move based on the position of the ball. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Anyways, those of you that are older uh, will understand what the hell I'm talking about. But uh, the control, the main control for your character was a trackball, I guess is the best way to describe it. So in any direction that you moved your ball, that's where the character would move. And depending on how fast you moved it would be how fast your character moved. And I just thought that was a really like high tech thing back in the day. Like I could be on one side of the screen and you just fling that ball as hard as you could. And all of a sudden you'd be on the other side of the screen. If you just slowly try to roll it, your character would move really slow and precisely. And that's like one of my favorite feelings. Anytime that I do go to a real life arcade with real life arcade cabinets, I always try to find a centipede arcade machine and try my hand at it. I still suck at it, as you guys can see me playing right now. I, I, I'm i not good at it or anything like that. It's just one of the earliest games that I ever played as a child, and it's one of my favorite things to do whenever I have a chance to play it in real life. Now again, we've been in a pandemic. We haven't really been able to go out to arcades or anything like that. So uh, luckily, we do have Anstream Arcade. And again, they did provide a code for me to be able to play this game. So if you guys want to go and check them out, uh, if you're into retro games, if you want to check out retro games, go and check it out. They have a free service as well as a paid option if you'd like. And uh, they're the reason that I'm able to make this video. So go support them. They support me. Uh, I would really appreciate if you just went and checked it out and please let me know what is your earliest memory of either an arcade cabinet or your earliest memory of your very first video game let me know in the comments down below and as always i will see you guys in the next video